Hello, I'm Darren Whitney, the superintendent for Suffolk Public Schools, and welcome back to the two-minute drill. This week's taping, we're actually in the new middle school, Colonel Fred Cherry Middle School, which will be opening this fall. It's on schedule, and it's also within our budget. We're excited about this school because we have a number of new features in this middle school. For example, our project-based learning areas, the learning stairs, and we have cafeteria that's unique, and also a fitness center uh, that will be in this school as well. We're excited to get our 800 students in this school. That's how many this school will hold. However, we won't start with 800. We'll have room for some growth. We're excited once again because it will eliminate the mobile units at John Yates Middle School. I also want to tell you about our summer school programs this year. Did you realize that if a student does not read or does not do any type of academic performance, they can lose some of the learning that took place during the fall? We want to be, be certain that we capture our students and we make certain that they're gaining what they need to gain during the summer. We have 500 students, nearly 500 students, participating in our LEAP program for elementary students. This is our Learning and Enrichment for Academic Progress program. In this particular program, students receive the academics during the day, during the morning, whether it's math, reading, and integrated science and social studies. And then in the afternoon, they participate in a variety of enrichment type activities. It might be swimming, it might be tennis, it might be yoga, or it might be a number of things that our students are able to participate in. On the middle school level, we have a 200 student program called Launch. That's been held at John F. Kennedy, and it's focusing on a number of things, but primarily math and reading. Parents, be sure that you take a look at the, our website and take a look at the summer reading list and their summer assignments that many students should be participating in. Don't wait till the last minute. You want to make sure you get those school supplies, do your summer uh, assignments, as well as read throughout the summer. Some of you might be wondering, what do our teachers do during the summer? Well, it's good to think that they take vacation, but not all of them take vacation or not a lengthy vacation. Many of our teachers are working on curriculum development. They're helping uh, create assessments or they're receiving professional development as well. We also have some learning opportunities for our parents. It's called Spark, a Spark video series that you can check out on our website. Be sure and check those out and be sure that you keep your students engaged throughout the summer whether it's reading, writing, or visiting a museum. Thank you and have a great summer.